We've all heard about Squid Game, but how many of you know about the legendary Dragon Game? Drakenlord1510, or Dragonlord, is a German streamer and YouTuber who transitioned into an almost mythical lolcow status in the 2010s. Dragonlord has been subjected to intense trolling, and even an event that saw 150 people storm his house. Sometimes referred to as Germany's most hated YouTuber, in today's video we'll be uncovering the disturbing reasons why, and his heavily documented past that is only rivaled by Chris Chan. In August of 2011, Rainer Winkler would launch the YouTube account Drakenlord1510. However, it wouldn't be until much later, in early 2013, that he would begin actively pursuing his YouTube career. Being an avid fan of metal, many of his earliest videos would show him discussing music or even dancing to it. Of course, being far from controversial, Dragonlord would only begin to pick up trolls later on, when he started discussing topics far outside the sphere. Looking at matters that concern the government or politics, his clear lack of understanding started to attract a small circle of critics. When he eventually dropped his own, full government name in a video, these same individuals jumped at the opportunity, and soon found the contact details of his family members. 2014 rolled around, and Dragonlord's sister would receive a vaguely threatening phone call from one of the trolls. In a rage, Winkler immediately went to YouTube to post a video. Providing his address to the public, the video would also be coupled with a challenge to any prospective trolls to show up and battle it out. Luckily, due to his small following at the time, no one ventured into the dragon's lair for quite a while. Winkler would only be subject to small-scale pranks like deliveries of packages. This, of course, would ultimately change for the worse. Still, it was at this point that the term Draken Game began to stick. Introduced through forums, it colloquially referred to any and all forms of trolling that Winkler would endure. Additionally, a song titled Luganlord, with Lugan meaning lie, would be posted around this time, once his growing viewership noticed his compulsive tendency to lie about anything and everything. Examples of this include lying about having a girlfriend, saying he's renovating every single room in his house while living on welfare, and more recently, lying in court. By now, Drakenlord had already begun the lolcow evolution. Being extremely reactionary and already having much of his personal information online, he was the perfect candidate. Naturally, the timid nature of many of the early pranks would soon begin to change. Becoming something of a holy pilgrimage, people would first start showing up at Drakenlord's house in 2015. These visits would often be documented, filmed, and posted online, serving to inspire many others to do the same. Even his house began to develop a mythical status, being referred to as the Drachenschanz, or the Dragon's Bunker. This place is so significant that people have even recreated it in CSGO, with updates as recent as 2022. Sadly, these sorts of projects have largely come to a halt, for reasons I'll go into later in the video. Returning to the Dragon game, individuals would become increasingly more aggressive in their endeavours to poke the sleeping bear. In groups that at times reached 10 or more, trolls would pelt eggs at Winkler, or harass him from afar. Still, many wouldn't dare to get too close, and would run away if yelled at or approached by the man himself. These raids would eventually reach a peak in 2018, with drastic consequences. 150 people would storm the tiny village Drakenlord lived in, arriving at his doorstep and threatening to break in. While the riot police were quickly called to mitigate the chaos, the raging crowd had already begun setting off fireworks, resulting in a nearby field catching fire. By now, this massive event had involved both the police and the local fire department, and news stations were quick to pick it up. Following the raid, numerous trolls were arrested, with one of them, possessing an extensive history of harassment against Drakenlord, being sentenced to around four years in prison. At this point, you're probably wondering what he could have possibly done, outside of openly inviting duels, to prompt such extensive trolling and hatred. Overall, many people will defend this position by pointing to Drakenlord's documented history of controversial takes and racist and sexist behaviour. Not only being banned from Twitch for saying the N-word, Winkler has previously admitted to desiring intercourse with large marine animals, and even allegedly thrown forks and hatchets at visitors. Supposedly, he also has a recorded and persistent habit of making women extremely uncomfortable online and in person, contributing to a public figure that is intensely disliked by 99% of his audience. Ultimately, it would seem that his own degenerate behaviour, tied with his online presence, attracted an equally degenerate audience that jumped on any opportunity, presented by Winkler or otherwise, to harass him. As put by this Reddit user, this developed into a cycle of trolling him, awaiting his dramatic reaction, and then trolling him again. Of course, the legend of Drakenlord as we know it would quickly come crashing down. In October of 2021, Drakenlord was found guilty of inflicting dangerous bodily harm and sentenced to two years in prison. In passing his verdict, the judge accurately labelled the entire saga, quote, a sad example of the consequences of hatred and bullying on the internet. 
In this instance, as bad as it is, jail time was probably a better option for all parties involved. His house had practically become a war zone and a stage for continuous torment, so removing him from the trolls in that environment was far from the worst choice. Regardless, shortly afterwards in 2022, the iconic dragon's bunker itself would face similar consequences. After years of abuse at both the hands of Drakenlord and his trolls, the landmark would be demolished. Being such a monumental event, German news channels and websites would go on to cover this, even capturing footage of the demolition. Unsurprisingly, the building's destruction was overwhelmingly endorsed by the rest of the village, as it would drastically reduce the constant stream of visitors looking to visit the holy landmark. In fact, they actually purchased it and authorized its destruction themselves. Jumping forward to the present day, sightings and interactions with Drakenlord have begun popping up again on the German side of YouTube, some as recent as a month ago. I'm assuming this means he's completed his sentence, or perhaps is still waiting for it to be undertaken. Additionally, as he has no actual house to return to, it's been rumoured that he's been living out of his car for some time. Either way, the sentiment shared by many of the comments under these recent videos seems to have shifted. While not necessarily supporting him, people have at least come to the consensus that he should be left alone. And honestly, I completely agree. Despite his disturbed and unpredictable past, the only thing that's been proven consistently is that nothing good has ever come of playing the dragon game. After so many years of arrests, poking, prodding, trolling, and reactions from an obviously mentally disturbed individual, perhaps it's time to let the man pick up the pieces of his life. That is, of course, assuming he stays away from social media long enough to dodge the more persistent trolls. It might not come as a shock that Drakenlord is often referred to as the German Chris Chan. Both have a complex and continuous relationship with thousands of trolls, and even have an entire website documenting their every move. However, I personally believe the case of Drakenlord to be much more extreme. Perhaps due in part to Germany's lax laws on cyberbullying, Winkler was subjected to a degree of physical harassment that Chris Chan cannot even compete with. To this day, there are dozens of videos showing many of the battles waged on his property, and even videos of fireworks being set off at random while he was simply streaming. Chris Chan's trolls, on the other hand, usually tried to form intimate relationships with Chris in order to extract content at their expense. For Winkler, the individuals that showed up at his house were so disturbed that they were willing to risk incarceration multiple times and cause serious property damage. It's hard to comprehend the vitriol and hatred needed to persistently do this to someone, despite such adverse risks. Especially when massively popular and controversial figures like Chris Chan have never experienced raids even close in scale. Overall, the Drakenlord rabbit hole and the mythical dragon game provide one of the deepest and most disturbing cases of a lol cow. Despite Winkler's initial challenge and questionable reactionary behaviour, it seems hard to condemn or blame a man entirely for such relentless trolling, even if he made every wrong decision. Few cases like this ever end up having real world consequences, and this is probably one of the most extreme examples of all time, arguably trumping Chris Chan themselves. Thanks for watching, and cheers to everyone that subscribed as we've just passed 300. As always, leave a like if you enjoyed and let me know what you thought in the comments. For the 3% of my audience that are German, feel free to drop some extra lore or insight as well, as the story is fascinating. This has been Extramen, and I'll see you all in the next one.